Hello again. In addition to the videos I make, I also write quite a few books about social and military history. Uh, the latest one, Suffragette Fascists, just published this week. It's not the only book of mine that came out this week. I do write an awful lot of books. Not all of them are brilliant productions. This is another of mine that came out this week. Guns Across the Rio Grande, under the name Jack Tregarth. I've written about a hundred westerns in total, under a bewildering array of thoroughly improbable names, such as Brent Larson, Jay Clanton, and Fenton Sed Sadler, Harriet Cade, just to name a few. There's a convention with the names of the authors of westerns, that they must generally sound like the names of the cowboy characters in the books. Some of the toughest sounding of the names of the author's names are actually women. Uh, Tex Larrigan and Kurt Longbow are both pen names of a woman called Irene. Here's a few of the more lurid covers of my westerns. The market in Britain for trashy westerns is all but over these days. Libraries still have stocks of them, but they're not buying any more and no more are really being published. The main publisher uh, used to be Robert Hale, and they used to publish a dozen a month for the mark for the library trade. It's a pity really for hacks like me, because I could knock out at least one novel a month some months two or three of my westerns would be published the typical customer who got this kind of western out of the library in britain was a few years ago reckoned to be a man of about 60 living in birmingham in the midlands these were men who had, as children had watched bonanza and the lone ranger on television and got a taste for westerns American publishers of westerns won't generally touch British authors. Um, they, British writers never seem to get the slang right and they often get muddled up about details of American wildlife landscapes. Uh, there's an old story about an American publisher who did commission a western from a British author and then when he finally took delivery of the manuscript he found there was a description of coyotes circling overhead. The closure of so many libraries in Britain has really sounded the death knell for the um, trashy westerns. It's a great shame. I mean, only libraries ever used to buy them. No normal person would pay £14.50 for a 40,000 word novelette. This has really just been a brief reminiscence about the end of an era. Never mind, I mean, there's plenty of other books I can write, but one can't help feeling a little sad to see the passing of something which is inextricably tied up with one's youth. <laughs>